welcome to our young orthopedic trainees. I congratulate you for your successful entrance examination and have opted for orthopedics as a discipline for your career in this life. You are indeed very fortunate to have chosen this subject. You must be aware that this is one of the most popular subject worldwide. You have to understand right in the beginning why orthopedics had been so popular globally. It's one of those branches where you can see your results right in front of you within a short period of your training period. And you feel so joyful when you see a person who has come disabled and was crying whether my leg will be saved or not. And you have put in your best. And after six months, you find him coming, walking to you. And he's so grateful to you. So in other words, you should feel proud to have joined this discipline. But you see, when this discipline, with this discipline, you indeed require a continuous hard work to understand the biological aspects which are hidden behind the repair and regeneration of bone in a human being. The most dynamic structure of the human body, which is involved with so much of repair and you know that the bone is the only tissue which repairs with bone after an injury. So to start with, you have to be committed to this discipline to learn every bit of it right from morning when you enter the hospital. You must start with your basics, the understanding the pathophysiology and the physiological processes that go on into the bone repair and regeneration. Your modules will be given to you during this period so that you start learning right from your entrance of the patient in the emergency and in your day-to-day -day OPD practice. So the first and foremost thing remains that you should discipline yourself to respect your patient and consider your patient as a God sent opportunity for you to learn your discipline through the problems that your patient has come across. So orthopedics will give you an opportunity right from a plaster room to the OPD and emergency services. So the trauma remains a baseline for you as well as the orthopedic diseases to learn in the OPD services. So during your, this period, you must be able to record your patients individually. Because whatever you see, towards the evening you should go and write that you have seen such and such problem and then you dwell on it, how you go about to solve that problem. So if you develop this habit of learning through your problems, onto your patient, you will learn how to do a problem-solving approach. This will make you learn longitudinally onto the disease and the progress of treatment of the given patient.
and when you attend to your words you have to be very considerate and humble to your patient patient never tell lies that means you have to be a patient's listener to your to your patients you must listen it carefully so that you can develop and understand the natural course of the problem that the, your patient has got once you understand the natural course of that disease you will be able to understand where to hit it and where to catch it so you will have a gradual learning process as well as you will have to develop your psychomotor skills and this discipline gives you an excellent opportunity to develop your psychomotor skills from your core knowledge so the dictum remains that you should be able to record your patients and which will make you learn how to go about examining your patients in a particular problem this will give you an enough opportunity to develop your skill and effective domain so that you are able to be very considerate with your patients with these words i again congratulate you for having got the opportunity to study this subject which will give you an art as well as a science to learn and practice musculoskeletal organ system thank you and i wish you a great times and i wish you a success in this life